I focus on patent prosecution. That's our biggest department. It's the electrical mechanical department. Um, so anything uh, computer or mechanical related, electricals, anything like that, uh, we handle. Um, and we do a wide variety of technologies within, within that sort of realm. So academically, I think the school was, was very good. It had a lot of um, great professors, um, renowned professors in the fields, and again, especially in the IP field, and that was really what I was interested in. Um, and above that, it, they weren't just, like I mentioned, they weren't really just professors. They were really practitioners, people who actually worked in the industry. Maybe they worked in their youth and now they retired and they are teaching or they were still working actively in the field. So it's much easier to teach a class um, and to relate, I think, to students when that's what you do every day. When I graduated, I feel like I was, I was ahead of others that went to, to very good schools but um, just didn't quite have that knowledge yet of the field. Um, and I had a lot of hands-on. So I worked um, for credit. It was an externship, I think, in my final semester of law school. And it was at DECA, which is in Manchester, uh, New Hampshire, so very, very close to Concord. Pretty much did what, what, I, what, I, what I do now, which is you know, draft patent applications, respond to office actions. Um, and, and the people I worked with um, were really um, um, happy for me to be there. I wasn't just kind of getting in the way, but they were really treating me as part of the team and giving me interesting projects and explaining things to me. And that's, uh, I think, invaluable, especially at that early stage in your, in your career to have that. The name of UNH Law and Franklin Pierce stand out in the IP community. And that, um, usually that opens doors and that, you know, people listen. Uh, because they know that you're, first of all, they, for example, in the IP field, they know that, well, you're very interested in IP because you went to a, a mainly IP school that focuses a lot on IP. So they know you're serious about the field, you're not just testing out waters. Um, and also, again, the hands-on experience um, that really um, helped me. I, I didn't have to learn the basics when I started. And also, I think, um, the, the network. I think, again, because it's a smaller school, um, overall, uh, the alumni and the students at the time are really close to one another and they developed this sort of bond. Uh, even if you weren't best friends with someone, you still have that, um, that bond. So if anyone contacts me from UNH currently as a student, you know, I, I always you know, answer them, I always talk to them on the phone, I always want to offer advice. Uh, and that, again, goes back to the relationships, the way the school's set up, so you, you kind of develop these, uh, these, these special bonds.